What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Let There Fly YouTube channel. So as you can tell by the title up there, we are finally doing a mod that you guys have been asking about for us to do for a long time. And I'm doing it with somebody you guys haven't seen in a couple episodes. This guy. What's up everybody? Welcome back. We are finally going to snorkel the CF Moto. Here she is. She has not so, been on the channel in a little while. Nope. And she hasn't been on the channel due to the excessive amount of water we have apparently gotten this year. Everything is super deep, so. Well, how can we fix that? We can snorkel it. So, we are gonna bring you guys along for the journey. Um, looking on YouTube, haven't seen one on like a how to install, anything like that. So, we are gonna do that now. But first, make sure you click that subscribe button and like this video. So what kind of kit we get here, Seth? So we actually got a Snorkel Your ATV SYA uh, Warrior, basically. Warrior Snorkel Kit. We are going to modify this kit. We are not going to have the risers. We're not going to be using these risers, so, you know, because it is technically still my daughter's quad. She's needs to be able to see tall. where she's going. So we're going to keep these as a low snorkel wise. So basically what we're going to kind of do, we'll show you what it's actually, what it's supposed to kind of look like when you're done. We'll grab this guy here. We'll show them what it's supposed to do first. So it's supposed to basically be this right here. is isn't too bad. She could technically probably see over that. She could probably see over it, but why are you going to... She mostly does trail riding. It? So... You know, we're gonna do. option two was maybe something like this, but I think what we're gonna end up doing is something close to this height. Um, that's right. Because I mean, to be honest, I mean that's still basically handlebar height. Yeah. At that point, you know, you're so you're, you're going deeper than that. Obstruct any view that way. You don't. We're not trying to do full submarine mode on this. No, absolutely not. We're literally this just is... we're literally trying to just make this thing into a basically go everywhere one, not. Literally submarine, but yeah. basically go everywhere kind of quad. So if we bring it up to this height, I mean, you're still talking what? Three, maybe three and a half feet of water, which mm -hmm. is a ton of water. If you've ever ridden in deep water, it's enough to do water wheelies and have some water. fun. Yeah, so right now, probably gonna go ahead and uh, get the plastics off this thing because we gotta expose everything we gotta play with. Which, believe it or not, isn't gonna be too much. So no. hopefully it won't take too long. No. So let's go ahead and do that. So what you just witnessed was two Can-Am guys trying to take apart CF Moto. How'd that go for us? Ha! <laughs> We're still doing it. <laughs> uh, Turns out we suck at it. <laughs> yeah, apparently CF Moto doubles and triples up on everything, so... Yeah, like, um, up here under the gauge cluster, not only did they have a, like, 10 mil holding it here, they also had a, um, what is it, the pop pins here. This was held in, like, a pop son of a gun. Pop pins there. Yeah, so, this thing, there's screws everywhere in this thing. I mean, it's not going anywhere, I gotta say, yeah, the plastics. They're along for the ride, uh, Yeah. They're not, they're not coming off on you. No, absolutely not. But we got the main portion of the plastics removed now, so now we're going to look at the destructions and see where we're going to start uh, drilling some stuff and all that good stuff, see where kind of everything is, gets ratted, and we'll have to let you guys know. The whole reason why we had to take all these plastics off, um, one is this piece. This gotta piece here that. goes it's right here in front of your air box. In front of the intake. This needs to be modified. We need to cut this off. Yep. So slicey. One, one piece that needs to be modified over here. If you come back over, the CVT exhaust. This is now going to come out 90-90 and shoot under back under the motor. Because under the motor. Goes under the motor. And then this one comes up. So. All right. So. 
first thing we're gonna do, we're actually gonna do the air intake. Um, this looks like it's gonna be the easiest one from what we're seeing. Looks like it. Will it be? Probably not. But, so, uh, according to the kit, we're gonna grab the uh, 55 inch tubing they got here, flexible tubing. Looks like standard vacuum cleaner from back in the day tubing. <laughs> and uh, right now, I just gotta pop, I already loosened this up. This is a seven millimeter uh, hose clamp. It's already loose. Is it all the way? Oh. It's that kind of loose where I can pop it right off. Bam! And then there should be a coupling of some sort in there, Seth. This is a thin wall coupler, right? That's, that's the thin, thin wall, wall coupler. coupler. Yep, so I'll show them what the thin wall coupler looks like. See it, bam! Looks thin like wall thin coupler. wall coupler. So it's not as thick as the other ones. <laughs> there you go. It's short, it's, you know. All right, so uh, yeah, so right now we're just gonna go ahead and connect this. I'm just gonna throw a quick time lapse up. Like I said, we just gotta try to figure out how to run it in here somehow. It's gonna be tight. I don't it's know how, gonna to, be tight. how the heck they fit that through there because they made it look like nothing. But uh, yeah, so we gotta try to route that through there and wish us luck. Early the next morning. All right, so it is the next day. Morning. Morning. Uh, let's just not pay attention to that in the background. That's that's something else. Yes. You guys know about that, but progress has been made on that. There's gonna be like two videos being made around the same time here. Yeah. But uh. Yeah, garage garage workings are uh, in full effect here. So it's been uh, two days actually, technically. Yes. Since we started this last, so we gotta remember what we did. So last time we just cut out uh, this whole section this here. This plastics here. And then what Seth just did, if you want to show them real quick. I um, just. Uh, just pop it out real quick, so I can show them. Oh. Easiest thing to do. People in the net, you just see. Alright, so basically I took this piece of plastic just to be able to get this. I don't even know if I can see that. There you go. Fuse panel. Just, oh, yeah. oh, he just chopped um, it right there. I just put a slit in it so I could but get this on the wires behind. Back. So, so we can touch the fuse panel trying back. trying to get a little more room in here. Um, yeah, there should be enough room hopefully to bring the three snorkels up. Oh, that fits. Yeah. They're good. That's oh, beautiful. Perfect. And I just got the other one should snake in there. I think it comes through the other side here. Yeah, and then we'll look at the, side, so, huh? the destructions. Yep. All right, so now we gotta actually stare at the destructions again because it's been two days. Oh, oh you want to cut that? Has to get caught. Might as well do this let's, cutting piece while we have the Dremel out. Yeah, let's cut that real quick. Wait, wait, wait. Where's your safety squints? I don't have to actually put your sunglasses on. Now you can't see. Now you're gonna chop my hand off. You break it or pushed in? No, it snapped off. Yeah. Yeah. Did you snap on it? Oh, you just snap it. <laughs> right, held in. Uh, melt the glued plastic. itself back in, yeah. There you go. All right, so we're just wrapping the uh, tubing now. I have more of this tape, so. We're being very generous with this this way to make sure this thing does not melt. Don't want it to melt, definitely not. <laughs> so. Sure, so we probably ended up doing way thicker than we should have, but we'd rather it be safe than, than sorry, because uh, this is the air intake. Bell box is fine to get wet. I mean, you don't want it to, but I'd much rather the, the belt box get wet than the uh, air box. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Shove it back in its hole. All right, so. Important step. She's rerouted, so I just want to show you guys how we, it's routed here, if we didn't already. So from the air box, kind of goes behind here. One thing we did, we still have to tighten it up yet. We flip-flopped over the Wait. shifter linkage. We still have to adjust it yet, still loose as you can see. Um, but we just had to flip it around this way. Hopefully it'll clear the plastics. I'm hoping. <laughs> Um, so this way it just fits in here because otherwise it does not. But um, basically we made it this way. This whole piece is um, metal taped. So this way that shouldn't melt resting against the engine block there because that's unfortunately the way it's got to be routed. And then we still haven't routed it in here correctly yet but we're just going to get the uh, air box all connected up in the, uh, with the little, the thin coupler they call it, right? Thin yes. wall. Thin wall coupler. Thin wall coupler. So don't be afraid to be a little generous with the silicone because it's better to be safe than sorry with everything. That's the way I say it and go by and live my life. Oh, that's a lot of stuff that's zoomed in on your face. Yeah. All, all the nose. Beauty. So what I also did is I also put a uh, bead of silicone on the inside. Yep. And um, 
I'm sure somebody will yell at me for that, but yeah. You can suck into your intake and plug up your air filter. Do you push it all the way? Yeah, I mean it was. Seems to be in there. Seems to be in there. Seems to be in there. Alright guys, so we just removed the CBT intake. Um probably want a buddy for this. Uh there is two screws, two Phillips head screws up here at the hot top holding wires on. Uh easiest way to get to that is straight through there um with a long screwdriver. Then we were able to snake it out the hole on the left side of the quad, so it was up there. Brought it down through there. So that's where we're at with the CBT intake. All right, we're taking this reducer fitting here. Um, and wide part is gonna go into the CBT intake here. And then your hose is gonna clamp onto that, come up and that'll probably end up being our right side. All right, so we removed the CBT intake boot off of the uh, CBT. We have to install this bad boy, so silicone. I wanted to take it off just so I can make sure I got it seated right and make sure that the silicone. What? Silicone. Silicone. Silicone is uh, all good. All right, guys. So we uh, got the bushing in. Make sure this is very tight. And silicone. And silicone. So my excess silicone that I had squish out. Just smoothed it all out. You can see in there. Looks like plenty of silicone. I don't know if you can actually see it. There you go. Here, you know, plenty of silicone in there. Um, silicone. You know, water stopper. So, put this back on and we will continue to run the uh, CBT intake line up to the front. Yep. All right, so I just got done running all the vent lines. Um, there's only three you gotta run, which is nice. All right, so the factory vent line, which is right here now, um, it starts off here, but usually comes up and runs along the frame rail, and actually goes up, up in un under behind the light here, which is kind of odd. Uh, but basically pull that out, and then I pulled it around this way, made a connection with one of the couplers here. So it's just coming right up and around here. I'll show you from this angle kind of how it looks. So just back there, comes up and around. I snaked it in right behind the shifter here. And then down, oops, dark in here, but basically down and around. Follow the air intake tube, and then right at the top here. So that's for the rear diff. Now for the um, gas tank vent, here's the tube for that guy. Um, I just had to turn it a little bit, actually it's touching the shock, there you go. Um, but it's right here, and all you gotta do is just coupling it in, like I did. Where'd you find it? Uh, it's underneath, or by the right front tire here. Okay. So, there's a little canister, comes off there and just tucks up in the frame there. And then, I said you can actually almost see my connection down in there. I did way down in there. But then I just ran the tube right out. So that was easy, and then same thing, front diff was tucked over um, by the overflow tank for the uh, radiator. Um, that guy was over there, so I just pulled that out, put a short piece in the coupling. Left a little extra, so this way we can tuck that down, make it look nice, this way I have all the same lines coming out. And all we have to do for the uh, overflow line, which usually just, I mean, this doesn't matter as much anyway, but uh, that guy can just run straight up, or you can use a piece of clear tube to make it look the same as the others. So, no biggie, we can do that. <coughs> but so far, not too bad with that. So uh, right now, Seth's actually working on the CVT still, having fun. Uh, you got that all wrapped, it looks like? Yep, all wrapped, ready to start the feed. We just gotta silicone the fitting so that you know everything gets uh sealed up nice and get nice to it boy right now we're gonna finish up doing that guy and then we have to get to this tube so this guy <laughs> you can't even bend this thing by hand so we're gonna have to get the heat gun out and warm it up a little bit and everything before we start playing with this guy but um the reason we're using this is because it's pretty heat resistant um it's and shouldn't melt and it's flex PVC, yeah, and it's, so it's, it's really thick, it's, it's hard. stiff, so it's gonna be fun. So, 
find out shortly here how bad that's going to be. All right, guys, so we made the connection down here on the CBT intake. Um, that was the one we made earlier. Lots of silicone. Got the pipe on. It runs over the frame. Out the other side, it will snake up with the other one, and it'll go underneath the ECU. Our next task is the CBT exhaust. Um, we have to take this off. And we're going to do basically a 90 setup, two 90s setup. we got to find the angle, and we're going to use that guy right over there, the uh, PVC flex. So and that'll run down the bottom underneath the CBT, probably pop up somewhere in this area, tuck in over here, and make its way up to the front. I'm gonna start working on that now. Wish me luck. So today on Let's Cook Something here, um, Seth's cooking himself some fern coast. Yeah. Yummy. Almost done, too. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, all right. So I got the... Um, you guys saw a little quick time lapse on uh, that. Got the exhaust out there. So, CF Moto, this piece of pain he has to get out. Um, but the nice thing that they did was they actually heat taped right around everything, so... You actually had to really work to try and get it off because it was taped together too. Of course. So let's make what? it easy by the way. Those two pieces come out. So the reason we're heating this up is this way that's nice and malleable. We put something round over an oval. Yep. Hopefully it goes easy. Does it feel pretty pretty smooth? Uh it's pretty malleable. It's hard for me to kind of see down there, it's kind of dark. It's hard for me to see too. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen. We're on. We're done. No. <laughs> uh, just try and get it. I don't know. About even how's the back look? It's good back here. We're here. Yeah. As long as it's not good enough, yeah. Right, so there you go. I mean she's on there. She actually went on surprisingly easy. So that heat. Yeah. <laughs> so good tip. Um now we're just gonna have to figure out. The position of these two 90s here. We're going to glue them. You know. And then the big boy. And then. I don't have a pot big enough to put that in there. <laughs> and then that pot. Well, just pour the water right on top of it. And yeah, then yeah, that one just goes like right underneath. Like I said. Looks like it comes up over there. So. Not bad. We're going to work on that.
Okay guys, so here's the Fernco that we put in water. Goes to the 90, the 90, and it goes into that. I did not PVC glue this. I actually siliconed this all together. I don't know. I guess we'll see if it matters. Um, this tube runs underneath the engine up here into the flex hose, which has to be heat taped due to the exhaust manifold right there. Uh, comes all the way up here and turns into your so, right snorkel tube. One thing we're doing, guys, because like we said, we're doing the uh, actual risers themselves a little different. They have a two inch Fernco connecting into, basically they're all, all the pipes are the same size, but that's just way too sloppy. They said just fill it with a bunch of silicone and pray. Don't like that. So we're gonna do, I actually found Seth. What do you got? Bushing? Bushing. So we'll do that. And this is gonna come out and then the Fernco is gonna, the way we're gonna plant it, the Fernco is gonna come and attach over top of these guys under here, where we'll be able to attach it. Then we're just gonna have the risers, actually we're actually gonna end up using them. Um, basically those guys will be, hopefully, if we can get right like that. Hopefully. It's gonna be fun. Yep. But if we can get it, that should be perfect height for his daughter and it'll actually look pretty dang good too because we're gonna use the risers. We should see. Yeah, because this, this, we weren't initially going to use these, so. Because Marshall was trying to put them on his quad. No, I would never do that. If it's free, it's for him. Yes, yep. All right, so, what are you doing? Uh, it's not working. I see that. About to put that tire back on. Oh, that was the one thing I did want to talk to you guys about. Um, the tire? Putting this tube, this uh, hard PVC, or, um, flexible PVC pipe in, First attempt, try to bring it from the front. Don't do that. Take the rear tire off, feed it in right through here and down. It's a much easier feed. So start in the back, right through, uh, heat tape it before you actually push it through because why the hell are you uh, going to dry fit that? So, all right, we're going to go to the next step. What time is it? Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to... <laughs> Drill a couple holes in the plastic. So yep. all we did was just give them. We know. used their marks. So we'll show you the plan in a little bit here. We're just gonna get these guys drilled out real quick. Yeah, so the inner one keeps your hands rolling. You scratched it. Oh, it's gonna make it a little bit better. How do you feel? So fun. I actually cut it really clean. <laughs> it's a, a, little, a little bit bigger than it should be, but clean. And it's okay because we, we figured we're gonna have to um, work them a little bit anyway because uh, we got to do a little notch for the um, hose clamp. But wow, that actually came out really clean. I'm surprised. It's gonna cross into the other one or not yet. Nothing like just drilling right into your fresh plastics. <laughs> Can't turn back now. Let's see. Yeah, so, good. Those are good for the two smaller ones. Just gotta notch it for the thing. Need to open this one up a little bit. Well, it is what it is. I'm so, so basically, we're gonna drill a hole. Here, I'll kind of start to explain. So over here, right here, we got the. Uh, well, it's getting fixed top cover here for the uh, rack. But basically we're gonna notch a bunch of these guys out of here, clean them up, and then Fernco is gonna go down in there like that and actually hook into the snorkel on the very top so of the It's gonna be flush. tight. Flush. So let's show them the kind of level that uh, it's gonna be on the quad. It's gonna be roughly that about high. here. We figured that's gonna be plenty for his daughter. So. And me. Yeah, yeah, you're so plenty for me. Yep. But, yeah. All right. Now you gotta drill that guy out and brown that one out. But first, I need to change the batteries because it's showing me a sad face. Roger. Here we go with the outer. All right. right. Use the same, the same um, measurements. We'll go over that in a minute. That 
that's just the bracings underneath. Mm -hmm. so, all right. That's that. All right, so progress has been made. Um, a lot of progress actually off, off camera, but we figured it'd be easier to show you afterwards because otherwise it's just gonna be way too much filming, way too much confusion. All right, so first we're gonna show you what we did with the snorkel risers themselves. So I wanna grab the cover there, Seth. All right. So this is the cover for the actual top of the rack here. And what we did, I wanna show them the underside. We actually chopped out all this. Uh, we just used a big Dremel. You see all the marks and stuff in there. Um, we just flattened all these uh, little reinforcement bits out. Also, we drilled the holes for the uh, vent tubes. Uh, so those guys actually are gonna hopefully line up like perfectly. See the little holes down in there. There's only four we're doing on this guy. Uh, we decided to ride, do that, but you see how she came out. I mean, that looks, that looks pretty nice. Pretty good. I mean, it's not, it's not moving. It's now the fun part's way. gonna be connecting that. So we'll show you again. What we're doing so here the inner piece. Since we're running them on the outside, we just, you know, we drilled our holes. Marshall came up with the idea. So if it doesn't work, we're gonna blame him. So what he's saying so, is, so we got rid of all the stuff they had going here. Um, what we end up doing is just sticking these pieces in there, and then um, this is actually a inch bushing. and a half, um, two inch bushing by two inch bushing. So these Francos are gonna slide down into, into these holes. Not much, but you know, I'm at chisel. Take a we might have, to, we might have to put the hose clamp either up below or above the cover, one or the other. You can't put it below the cover because it's already being clamped to the top over there, so it's gonna have to be above. Because when this is... But I'm saying we stick the rubber through and then put the hose clamp on the bottom. That's what we might have to do. So what we did was we made all of our connections under here, under the second the orange panel actually, uh, is where we made all the connections. So you see everything's all tightened up nice, got all the fern coats tight, and now we just gotta push the clips back in. We'll set this back in the tripod for a second. So I'll just set the hand. Just look at it kind of. Okay, bottom one's gotta go first here. Around the seam. Just like that, kind of what it looks like. Just gotta cut that one tube off that's like saying hello. Yes. All right, so there you go. Snorkel kit installed on a CF model. How fun. Honestly, it wasn't too, too bad. Well, well here's a set thing. If we like, didn't modify it, it probably, probably would have been easier. Yeah. But, you know. Well, I, I see the tubes going up. Now, what, that, that top so tube, that is that going to be bent down? Or what I, Give that a wiggle for the people. That's on there. That's nice. That's, that's tight. That's really nice. That's good. Now we basically just got to put it all back together. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we'll catch you guys in a second. We're probably going to have to do the outro on my phone. All right, so a quick recap. So you got your one van line here, your one tube, run off the air box, comes under here. This is all heat taped. Um, so this way, hopefully, keep it from melting. Shifter linkage, turned around, tightened up. Looks good. Under here. Too dark to see. Need light. Under here, that's kind of what your tubes should look like. We still have to um, just um, zip tie them up and everything. But that's kind of how they want them. Um, back there, it's kind of hard to see, but it kind of just goes right in front of the motor. And then everything just kind of shoots right under there, behind the shock. And then, like I said we showed you that stuff a minute ago. And this guy was fun. So this is all glued and ready to go. Got the uh, Hard PVC line, or so, sorry, soft PVC line. 
go underneath the um, belt box, going up, connecting in there. And that's all heat taped up, so this way that doesn't melt the exhaust right there. And not too shabby overall. Looks pretty good. Alrighty, and that's how you do it. Not really. So we didn't follow the directions at all. Mm -hmm. Kinda. Partially. Yes. So like I said, we customized this kid a little bit um, only for the fact of his daughter being a little bit shorter. We yeah. want her to be able to see over the snorkels and everything and the results are pretty sick. Okay, get your bottle out of it, boy. Flipped in, you haven't sponsored us yet. <laughs> that was actually in the video of the CS. I know it was. <laughs> oh yeah, no, but that's perfect height. Um, I mean, if you're going deeper than that, this thing's... Yeah, these, these things are rock solid. Yeah, the way we set that up, they don't move. They I like that. rock solid. I wish my, I could do a setup on my quad like that. But um, the only thing we have to do and fix yet is the shifter. Um, the shifter sitting in the plastics over here. Yeah. And uh, making things a little difficult to shift at the moment. So you can actually see the plastics Thanks. moving when I'm The CF shifting. is hard to shift anyway. I had to turn the lights on for extra effect because this thing has bad A daytime running lights. Bad A. Oh. Badass. Gotcha. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that on yeah. YouTube. Badass, uh -oh. sir. Yeah, badass running lights. Yes, it does have badass running lights. A lot of people drop that bombs. Yeah. It had to be like 30 seconds in, something? I don't know. No, it could be throughout the video, but... Um, yeah, so completely... Pretty stoked about how it came out. Um, not too sure if something goes wrong on the trail, how this is going to be to take apart, but... Oh, it's going to be a fun time. Oh, yeah. Um, but all in all, I think it was... A good project. Um, looking forward to uh, testing it out. Um, may or may not be. It's not going to be the next video. It'll be the next riding video. Yes, it's going to be. Because Marshall's got another installment of the uh, part four. Rebuild. Part four is going to be out. But um, actually, give us suggestions. What should we put this thing up against? Um, obviously, I don't want to put it against a 650 or 850s. It's not fair. No. But we do have a Sportsman 570. And we do have a Can-Am Outlander 500 that's also uh, has been semi-snorkeled. It, it's well, it's basically got the XMR. In cluster, yep. so. It's got the XMR um, snorkel done to it. That's probably a more realistic. I mean, the 570 or the 500 is. 570 has got the mean price. tires, so the, the the tires on the. Oh, the Tarachis. Yeah, they're gonna. Oh yeah, they're just gonna. They'll beat up on them, both of them. Yeah, this I is not fair. I think these tires will probably beat on the uh, the Warriors. I don't know. I don't know. Well, is, actually, that's going to be a good test. Yeah, so I, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll go head-to-head -head with this and the... Uh, 500. 500. I think that'll be pretty good. You guys seem to really enjoy the CF Sportsman video, so... Maybe we'll do a CF Can-Am. Yep. Same class, same basic... It's a 500, setups. so it technically falls into the 570s. It doesn't have as much power, but it's still... More power than this. <laughs> but all in all, um, you know... Pretty stoked about this. We still have to. I like the look of it, actually, like that. You guys aren't gonna <laughs> want to do this setup if you're doing a rad relocate. We'll say Absolutely that, but not. we don't have a plan for doing that anytime in the future because this thing's not gonna go in that kind of mud. Um, if anything, it's gonna go deep in water. So, and water doesn't plug up the radiator for the most part, unless it's really dirty water. So, with that, make sure you guys are liking, subscribing, and commenting down below. Really appreciate you guys supporting us. Um, we can't thank you guys enough. Uh, and Seth, where can they find us on the interwebs of today? On the interwebs of today, you can find us on, well, obviously, YouTube. Uh, you can find us on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. All right, so with that, we'll have to catch you guys next time on Let Dirt Fly.